In this video, we're going to look at how it looks from a student's perspective when you are using the Safe Exam browser. Now, you'll notice that I'm recording this video from uh, I'm recording this my screen because once I enter the Secure Exam browser, my screen will be locked down and I can't do a screen recording. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into Moodle and I'm going to put my password in and then I should be good to go. And I'm going to go to my course and I'm going to scroll down to the test that my teacher has set up for me and that would be the test in week four and when you'll notice when I click on the quiz I'm taken to this page that is the um, week four quiz and notice that it says that I either can Download the Safe Exam browser, launch the Safe Exam browser, or return to the course. If I just click return to the course, it's just going to take me straight back to the course that I was at before. Uh, if you haven't, as a student, if you haven't downloaded the Safe Exam browser yet, you'll have to click this link here and you'll be taken to a download page for the Safe Exam browser. Now you can scroll down to whichever uh, download is appropriate for you and then click the blue download button. My computer is a Mac, so I'm going to scroll down to Safe Exam Browser for Mac OS. I would just click that. I would be taken to a download page and it's going to tell me my download is starting shortly. And then I would just click Save. And you notice that my Safe Exam Browser has downloaded, then I would just double click that to, to install the Safe Exam Browser. Mine is already installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and install it again. I'm just going to go back to um, the original download page. And if I want to get back to my Moodle course, I'll just hit the back button in the browser. So I just click to go back. And here I am back at the quiz. Now, I have already downloaded the Safe Exam Browser. I'm going to um, close off that download link. Now I want to actually launch my quiz. So I click on Launch Safe Exam Browser. And I'll get this message. Do I really want to open the Safe Exam Browser? Yes, I do. And so I click there. And you'll notice it's now taking me to a new browser. And now my screen is locked. So I'm going to have to sign in again because this is now the Safe Exam Browser. And once I've logged in, it's going to give me now the opportunity to start the quiz. And note now that everything has been configured. I'm in the Safe Exam Browser. I'm ready to go. Note that if at any time you want to reload a page, if something seems to be going wrong, you can click the Reload button here. Or if you want to quit the Safe Exam Browser at any time, just click the on off button here. That's the quit Safe Exam Browser. Or you can click the normal quit, um, quit application up in the top left corner as well. Now note that I only have 10 minutes for the quiz so that if I choose to um, close from here or to, to quit, I will have to quit and then restart all within that 10 minutes. So I encourage you when you're doing the quiz to do it all in one sitting. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt the quiz now. Going to get this message. Do I really want to start the attempt? Yes, I do. And then I can go through and work through my quiz as normal. So I can go to the next page. Good. And let's, I'm going to show you how the reload works. I'm just going to click reload here. Good. It's reloaded the current page. Um, and then I'm going to answer my next question. Okay, good. And I'm going to answer my final question. Factorize this. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one. And so I'm going to now finish my attempt just as I would normally do. And I, I'm pretty confident about my answer. So I'm going to submit all and finish. And my quiz is done. And it gives me the opportunity to review my answers. Yeah, these look correct. That's great. 
Um, the, it doesn't tell me how much I got because that's the setting that was set up for me. And then I'm just going to go and click finish the review. Now I'm sent back to the quiz homepage and it tells me I can go back to the course or I could just quit the Safe Exam browser from here when I click this button. I'm going to show you what it looks like if I quit now. It's going to tell me, uh, am I sure that I want to quit? And so you know what? No, I want to actually go back to my course. I'm going to click cancel that, stay on this page, and now I'm going to click here to go back to my course. And notice that it takes me back to my course. I'm still in the Safe Exam browser, um, but I can work through the content in my course right in my Safe Exam browser. When I'm finally ready to quit, I'll just again go to the quit button in the bottom right. And again, I should be given the quit message. This time, yeah, I am sure that I want to quit. And note that when I quit this, not only is it going to close the Safe Exam browser, but it will also close the browser that I had originally started out in. So this should take me back to my computer desktop. And yep, there I am. Notice I'm back to my computer desktop. And if I wanted to start back up Moodle, I'd have to launch a new browser. So that's all there is to taking an exam in the Safe Exam browser. I hope this helped. Have a great day.